So uh, welcome guys to this video. This, uh, this is a video that will be explaining how you can uh, assemble your ether router when you buy it in case if it's confusing to some people. I did a video initially on the router and the unboxing of the router. So in case if you probably considered getting one, this is uh, how to assemble it easily and quickly. So this is the main router. This is the antenna, the battery, the cover case, then the LAN and the charger. Okay. So uh, I think, uh, I don't know how many percent it comes with the battery, but mine came with a hundred percent. I advise you charge it a bit, at least for one hour or two hours before using, uh, because this is like a factory charged. Uh, so when you get it, uh, a SIM comes with it automatically inside of it. So it's supposed to be registered uh, at the spots at the other shop when you buy it. And then the battery, it's a tricky one. So you have to calmly pin it inside uh so okay perfect so you check the point where you put inside so if you look at the back you see so you have to check the pin where you're putting it in for it to fit inside And then you turn it over and place. Now, you know that this is a bit tricky because in some cases you put it on, it doesn't show. There's how you probably turn the battery and it doesn't show. And there's how you turn it and it shows up. So when you put it, you try turning it on. So this is the power. So you try pressing the power to be sure that the battery is functional. Okay. And then you cover it up. And then this set. So the next thing is fixing the antenna. And this is just to strengthen up. Without the antenna, the router can work perfectly. But the antenna is just to increase the strength of uh, the signal, depending on where you are. At. So it enters on this spot. So you just put it and turn, rotate it around. So when you're rotating it, you notice that it's free at the first. But at a point, it becomes a bit stiff and you can still rotate it. So this is just to make it easier for you to get an angle that's this spot where you can easily bend the antenna and it's like this so you do the same for this one okay so that's for this and then the charger so with this now you can easily uh, use your router or you can use you can actually use router either with the LAN cable or or with the wireless part of it most times i think i prefer the wireless the LAN cable i think it comes with an increased speed up to uh, 150 megabytes per second i don't know how i don't know the difference between both i haven't tested that i will probably do a test that to know the difference between both and i'll do a video about that so if you turn the back Okay, you get to see the different ports. Okay, so this is the charger. Okay, so this is where you plug this. So let's lose this up. Okay. I was saying, so you plug it here, you can then you plug this to the power source. Okay, now if you want to use it uh, directly with power, and then this is a blank option. So this is the LAN option. We have four options, but they give you one cable. So you can actually buy uh, more if you need. Maybe you are running like a cyber cafe or whatever, like um, a business center, and you need to directly connect it to your computer. So you just plug it and then straight to your computer. So you can plug up to, you have up to four options. Now, another option is this. So this for the mobile phone. So in this option, you can comfortably use a mob that's the same inside of this you can use it to make and receive call directly with this with a LAN cable as the case may be uh the usb this is the usb option i actually don't know what this serves for i haven't tested it but i'll look into it to know what the usb option provides and this is wps and then the wi-fi so, so that's that's for setting up your airtel 4g router so uh like this is the button so when you press the button inside 
automatically turns on so this is the signal strength this is to show you that the 4g is connected this is to show you that the wi-fi it's connected and this show you that it's on so it takes uh, roughly 60 seconds to boot up or thereabouts so i think that's all for the video so thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace